Fantasy football season is well and truly back and as someone who came second in their FPL league last season, I am trying to get ahead of the curve and get myself, my squad built nice and early so I can make sure that I take top spot in FPL this season. I'm going to take you through me building my squad, all the players that I'm going to consider using and we'll see if there's any Spurs players in there as well that can help me along. I also have my own FPL league called No Cane No Gain. If you want to join it you can find the code to join it here and I'll also put a link to it in the description but without further ado let's get into building the squad. Now, the way I like to build my FPL teams is by starting at the front and moving my way backwards. I see the goalkeepers as probably the least important part of my FPL team and the strikers naturally being the most important thing. So we're going to start there. Now, last season, I kept Haaland, obviously not during his injury, but for most of the season. And I want to go down a different route this time, mainly because he's just so expensive. £15 million for Erling Haaland to be in your squad just yet. I think he is the most expensive player ever in Fantasy Premier League and I think we're going to avoid it for now so you know there's loads of options I always like to have one premium striker in my team and I'm just looking at that list there and and if you have a look at based on points over last season you've obviously got Ollie Watkins at the top you've got Kai Havertz, Solanke, Isaac, Alvarez and I think for me to start the season off and I feel like I have to do it based on their transfer business so far I'm gonna put Ollie Watkins into my team as the first striker and naturally I guess there is still a lot of weeks left until the season starts and that may change but for me he's a good starter to have in there. Then what I like to do for my second striker is I like to have a look at the bit more of a budget one I guess we're looking at sorted by total points I can change the filter to have a look by price um, and then if we go all the way to the bottom of page three there, we can have a look um, and we can work our way backwards, maybe onto the second page or towards the bottom of the first page. Uh, and I'm having a look at some of the players on here and I'm actually going to go with, it's not necessarily a budget pick, but I'm going to go with Cody Gakpo for the reason that he was really good for the Netherlands. Um, you know, he's got a Dutch coach come into Liverpool in Arnie slot. I think he might have a pretty good season for Liverpool. And for that reason, I'm going to put him in. Now, hear me out. We're going to leave the third striker for now because it's likely going to be a cheap one depending on how much money I've got left. So we've selected two players, got 83.5 million left. We're going to go into the midfield and we're going to pick our premium midfielder, say. Now, last season, I had Foden. We'll go back to uh, sort by total points. Last season, I had Foden in. I had Saka a lot. Son, I'm not too sure about this season. There's a lot of good options. I think we have to go with Cole Palmer. We have to put Cole Palmer in there. He's nothing short of brilliant. I don't like saying that as a Spurs fan. Cole Palmer, he's going in in that midfield. And alongside him, we're going to go Anthony Gordon. We're going to go Rodri. And we're going to leave it there. We're going to move straight on to it. I don't even need to talk about that midfield too much. Three players who I think are going to score really good points. Rodri went under the radar as a cheaper option for how many points he scored last season. Um, we're going to go to the defence. Now, moving on to the defence. I can see it straight away. There are three Arsenal players in that top three regarding points scored last season. Um, and I've got to make the choice between Gabriel, Saliba and Ben White. I'm going to put Saliba in to start with. Now, the title of this video is This Spurs Player is going to help me win my FPL league. The player that I am referring to, of course, is the man himself, Pedro Porro. He scored a lot of points last season. He's a very attacking fullback. He goes inverted, he scores goals, he gets assists. There's absolutely no reason for 5.5 million why we can't have Pedro Porro in our FPL. Alongside him, we're going to go for one of the more budget defenders. I'm going to start by putting Luke Shaw in. Luke Shaw, Man United, 5 million quid. I think that he is going to have a big part to play for Manchester United, having missed out last season. Okay, so now we come to our main goalkeeper for the season. And it's a really tough decision. I don't like to pick the most expensive goalkeeper each season. I don't think there's a need to. And I, I think you can save your money and, and put that towards more important players. We are going to go with someone who scored a lot of points last year. Um and isn't too expensive 
we are going to go for Jordan Pickford. Then it makes it really easiest for us to choose the uh, to choose the next goalkeeper. We just pick the cheapest goalkeeper or one of the cheapest goalkeepers on the list. One of the four million ones, simply because we don't really anticipate playing anyone different in that in that role. So uh, one of the four million ones that may get an odd game or two just to be safe. We'll put Fabianski in there. We're going to move back to the midfield, and um, I want. It's not an easy decision to make uh, when it comes to the midfield. We are going to put Odegaard in. Arsenal are going to be good again this season. There's no point trying to skirt around it. Arsenal are just going to be decent. Odegaard, he's a lot cheaper than Saka. He's their captain. He gets assists. He crops up with the odd goal. To start with, I think we'll put Martin Odegaard in and see how we get on. No, we're going to put a budget defender in because I'm not going to play five defenders at the back. That defender is going to be Alex Tuanzebe for Ipswich. Welcome, Ipswich. Uh, Tuanzebe, uh, 4 million, nice and cheap. Ipswich is probably going to start every game for him at the back, but Ipswich may struggle this season, so... Perfect budget defender to have it. Now we have the decision of picking our final forward. And it's a very, very difficult decision to make. Now we could go with someone like Isaac, who we know is going to score goals, but he does get injured. Kai Havertz, how is his season going to go this year? <sighs> Probably pretty decent. So I think I'm stuck between those two. We're going to go for Kai Havertz. I'm sorry. We're going to do it. We have to do it. It's already done. He's in there. Three Arsenal players, I know. Listen, it is what it is. Jared Bowen is very tempting, as is Bruno Fernandes, uh, as is Bailey for Aston Villa. There's a lot of good options here. Bernardo Silva. I love Eze. I really hope that that Crystal Palace kit is going to turn into a Spurs kit. Ooh, Brennan Johnson gets decent points. We're going to go for this man right here, Eberichi Eze. He may be playing at Palace at the start of the season. He may be playing at Spurs at the start of the season. He may be playing for Manchester City at the start of the season. I think he's an incredible baller. I'm willing to give him a go, see how he gets on in the first couple of weeks of the season. The good thing is your starting squad doesn't have to be amazing because you can chop it and change it. You don't know how players are going to be in terms of their form over the season so why not give it a go and see how I get on now we got one more decision to make and that is one last defender realize I've only got one Liverpool player in but again I don't know how they're going to be this season we could go for someone like Virgil van Dijk okay we've made a decision and we are going to go with Virgil van Dijk he scores a lot of goals from set pieces Liverpool may keep a decent amount of clean sheets we they're just a bit unpredictable which is why I haven't gone too heavy on them but I'm going to trust in Virgil van Dijk. I'm not actually sure I'm going to play him straight away, if I'm being perfectly honest, but he's there. And we can always change him before the season starts. So that is my team selected. All that's left to do is pick your squad name. And I have the perfect one. I have nicked it. I'm not going to lie about it. Red Jed Redemption. I know Jed Spence may not really play too much for Spurs this season, but I saw it and I just thought it was magnificent. Honestly, one of the best FPL names that I've seen. You can see it right here, our full squad. We'll make a few subs, why not? We'll leave it like that now. So you can see my team there, I'll save it. That is probably not going to be my starting team for the first game of the season, but we'll see how we go. So we have the no cane, no gain. Um, there are an absolute ton of people in this league, page after page. It's a really good fun one. Again, I'll put the code back up on the screen and in the description if you want to join it. Should be really good fun uh, across the season. That is my FPL team. Let me know if you think I've made any stupid decisions. Um, but yeah, I've really enjoyed putting this one together. I love my FPL and it just makes me really excited for the season to start. Let's see how we get on this season. Hopefully I can win my leagues. Um, and good luck to the rest of you. And I'll catch you in another video soon. Peace. Peace.